Chapter 7 and 8 The Rise of Europe The High and Late Middle Ages Part 1 The Fall of Rome and the Dark Ages As you listen to the video, add to the outline below. All notes must be in your notebook. The Fall of Rome, Alaric, Odysseur, Roman Empire, Stability, Network of Trade and Commerce, The Dark Ages, Period of Chaos, 100 mil million people died, Dark Ages really? And Top 10 Reasons the Dark Ages Were Not Dark. The Essential Question Number 1. How did the Fall of Rome bring about the Dark Ages? Give three ideas. Answer the question in your notebook. In 410, the Visigoth general Alaric overran Italy and plundered the city of Rome. Finally, in 476, Odysseur a Germanic leader ousted the emperor in Rome. Later historians refer to the event as the fall of Rome. For centuries the Roman Empire was a unified force that brought stabilization to most of Europe. Rome had a strong network of trade and commerce which disappeared after the fall. Europe was sent into a period of chaos the Dark Ages were seen as a time of great upheaval, constant warfare, horrendous plague, and stagnant cultural growth. It took 700 years of wars, plague, and poverty before the continent came out of it. With the fall of Rome, the concept of one man ruling the world still remained. It was this aspiration to rule over everything that perpetuated the darkness of the times. During the Dark Ages, most of Europe was ruled by hundreds of kings that claimed their power was given as a divine right or will of God. It is estimated that 100 million people died at the hands of war, poverty, and plague. But during this time, New ideas and ideals were born, and much of the ground was laid for the world we know today. Historians place the Dark Ages as beginning in 410 and ending in 1095 with the start of the Crusades. Were the Dark Ages really dark? Petrarch coined the phrase 
Dark Ages in the 1330s as what he saw as a decline in the quality of Latin literature from the time of the ancient Greeks and Romans. Later, the term expanded to refer more generally to the supposed lack of cultural achievement in Europe from the fall of the Roman Empire. Top 10 Reasons the Dark Ages Were Not Dark Universities were born, scientific foundations laid, Carolingian and Renaissance, Byzantine Golden Age, Religious Unity, Algebra Arrived, Art and Architecture, Fantastic Weather, Law Becomes Fair, and There's an Agricultural Boom. The essential question number two, why were the Dark Ages not really dark? Give three examples, explain. Answer the question in your notebook. Draw a picture that shows an understanding of a concept from the video. The drawing must have color and be more than a few lines and circles. Be prepared to take a quiz on the notes on the next class day.